Hey guys and welcome back. Okay, enough of me exercising here. Let's go and talk about my Skoda Fabia and give you a full review because since my new engine has been replaced, I haven't given you guys a review of the actual car. I haven't done even a car review. I've done videos of the car as you guys saw, but not a proper review. And also, quite a few of you asked me to do more Skoda Fabia VRS videos. So I'm listening to you guys. So let's go to the car now and talk about that car. Here we are in the car and let's obviously talk about the car so we'll start with first our basic stuff um, fuel economy let's start with that so so far since the engine has been changed the fuel economy is a lot better than previously so some of you might have seen my previous videos where I wasn't happy about oops I've gone the wrong way some of you might have seen my previous videos where I told you guys that the fuel economy was quite bad for this car and thankfully that has changed quite a bit so for example before i was getting around 20 23 miles per gallon which is very low for a 1.4 liter engine obviously with normal driving without revving it out and now i would be getting around 30 to 32 averaging between 30 and 32 miles per gallon roughly um, so i definitely realized that a lot by fueling up before I used to fuel up a lot more now it's slightly less so that's a good thing and it makes more sense for this car you know it's at the end of the day it's just a 1.4 litre engine um, however the minute I put my foot down it does go quite fast the fuel I mean by putting your foot down and for a minute or two you'll actually see the needle go down one or two lines but okay it's one of those things that you expect in the end of the day as I would say, if you want to have fun, it costs money. Moving on to the rest of the car. So the DSG gearbox previously had problems. So far, thankfully, it's been fine. And I can't complain. However, I did say a few times, I'm not the biggest fan of DSG gearboxes, but it's been fine since the DSG gearbox has been changed so if you just sound tuning in and you have no idea what previously has been done regarding the engine and gearbox I don't want to go through all this again in this video because I've done quite a few videos regarding those matters browse through my channel and you'll see all the info there now the rest of the car I mean to be fair it, by doing this video I've been thinking quite a bit like what are the downsides of the car since obviously the car's engine has been upgraded to a new engine it's very hard for me to find a bad point of the car I mean of course this car isn't perfect there's many little bits and bobs which could have been done better like bits around finishes and stuff like that but in general like doing the review on this car I must say that uh, I'm quite happy with the car now and I was planning to sell it back a couple of months ago after all the headache and whatnot I had but now I think it might it might have come to a point that I'm thinking it's not worth for me to sell it maybe not because after all this I've gone through and now I really got to know the car well once it's doing well maybe it's worth for me to keep it and saying that doesn't mean that I'm not buying another car I have to get another car that's no question and then let's talk about the uh, basic running costs on the car so the running costs on this car is quite reasonable I must say um, insurance obviously depends on your age you know insurances can be terrible overpriced all depends on your age and different various of things but for me insurance on this car has been quite reasonable uh, you know most of the running costs as explained previously they're quite reasonable so out of 10 stars and overall I would give this car probably for its kind of class I would give it this car probably 
seven and a half stars because since everything has been fixed it's very hard for me to fault something and find something that I'm not happy with and let's hope it stays this way because you know I believe this is how the car should have been done from the first place from the factory so here are a few important points if you're planning to buy one of those cars and that's why you're watching this video I mentioned this before I'll mention this again make sure you get one with a engine that is not faulty now by how do you know that that's a very difficult task because when I bought this car the dealership told me no this is a perfect car no engine faults blah 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 so they lied to me I ended up with a year of headache and finally after all they managed to replace the engine but you don't want to be in that position it's a lot of headache a lot of time consumed spent and money spent and whatnot so ideally you want to get a 2013 model plus so that is most likely going to have the upgraded engine or you buy it from a dealership with full warranty or you know the engine has been replaced um, because it was faulty so you know you have hassle free and uh, yeah other than that I really think you'll enjoy this car I mean yeah as I said it's very hard for me to find something bad to say um, on the main components of the car power is good 180 brake pretty nippy uh, quite practical convenient so overall I'll give it a seven and a half stars so that's really my little review video since the engine has been changed um, so hopefully this will answer most of you guys questions and the ones who asked for this video hopefully this is for you so if you guys for the ones who are interested more on uh, gym videos gym tips and all of that follow me on instagram the link to my instagram is in the description below where i upload more frequent gym stuff for those who want so that's really it guys thanks for watching please give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you're new and um, as i said i'll be trying to do more uploads now so please make sure you subscribe and peeled and uh, thanks for watching cheers guys bye